What's up, money growers? Jacob back here with another video coming to you guys today to talk about good old Navy Federal Credit Union and because they got some new credit card offers out. So we're gonna be taking a look at this today. So guys, everybody who subscribed to the channel, thank you for subscribing and thank you for being so awesome. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so yet because man, this channel has been growing like crazy. I've been doing at least one video a day for a while now. And I've been doing one video a day, two videos a day, even on days like today where I really don't feel that well. Man, I'm tired, I'm groggy, I'm just out of it. But you know what, we're gonna make this happen. So guys, if you've been subscribed to the channel, I do say thank you, you're absolutely awesome. I appreciate you having you. Those of you that are brand new, Happy to have you on the channel. Welcome along for the ride. So we're growing really fast. We're doing some great things here on this channel. One of the things we're going to do is take a peek at Navy Federal's recent credit card promos they just offered uh, because they just expired February 28th. So they did expire February 28th. Some of them change, some don't. But we're going to take a look at this and see what they're pushing right now. So it's funny because last time, not last promo, but the promo before they were pushing the whole cash rewards card. Again, we're gonna scroll through, and you guys see, if you don't know, they have six credit cards in Navy Federal, right? They have rewards cards mostly, they have a low rate card, the platinum, and they have a building credit cards with the end rewards. The end rewards card and the platinum, the building credit for end rewards and the platinum for the low rates, those cards pretty much never change. <laughs> they like they technically do, you know, they get new rounds of promos, but they're always the same. So when you look at the six cards right here, this end rewards, this does never change. If you scroll up here to the platinum, this doesn't really ever change. So those two are pretty much stagnant all the time. The ones that do change are the cash rewards card, the go rewards, the flagship, and the more rewards. So these are the four cards that change, you know, every, well, it was one every, uh, I'd say two to four months. But this last promo they did was just for the first two months of the year, just January, February. Now the one they're uh, currently offering right now goes all the way to July. This is definitely a longer one they're offering right now. So we're gonna take a look at some of these. And particularly today, we're gonna to be focusing on the flagship. We're gonna focus on the flagship rewards card. This is like the granddaddy of all their cards. This is the one that gets the most notoriety, although some people definitely argue that they think the more rewards is the better card. But this is like their travel card. This is the only one that has an annual fee, $49. All the rest of their credit cards have a $0 annual fee. So this is the one they push a lot for being a travel card with Navy Federal. So only $49 annual fee, the rest of the fees that they have on the other cards where it's zero, same as this one as well. Remember they do typically pull TransUnion when you apply for a credit card. I think I've seen a couple data points of people getting pulled for Equifax and one person on my channel recently, a subscriber said they recently got pulled on Experian, which is something I had not heard. So it sounds still pretty rare, but it is possible. Now this card is best for maximizing rewards, travel, and they want you to have very good to excellent credit. All the other cards, you can just have average to excellent credit. And the other thing with this card is if you get approved for this, you do have to be able to get approved for at least a $5,000 minimum, okay? So this is, remember, this is a uh, Visa Signature flagship card. So all the other rest of their credit cards, I thought it was a $1,000 minimum, but I've also been told $500 minimum. But with this, it's $5,000. So if they cannot approve you for at least a $5,000 minimum, you're not gonna get approved for this credit card. So what they're pushing right now, the new round of promos, you see 30,000 bonus points and a low intro APR offer. So let's go ahead and look at the details here. And if you guys remember the promo they just finished for the first two months of January and February, it's exactly the same. Truly nothing changed. They did not change this promo at all one bit. I went and looked. I went and checked my old, my last video and looked. So I was like, okay, I see 30,000 points. I'm like, dude, this looks like the last one. I went and checked my last video I did on this subject, and it is. It's exactly the same. They made zero change. And we'll look at some of the other previous promos they did on this card uh, beforehand, you know, before the uh, one for the new year of 2022. And you'll see it does change over time. I'm a little surprised that they did not change this one bit. Um, I mean, it's, I would have figured that they would have, you know, maybe increased this like that before 40,000 points and, you know, 400, which was a $400 value if you spent 4,000 in 90 days. When I got it in August of 2021, it was 40,000 bonus points, a $400 value when you spent 3,000 in 90 days. So you had the same spend amount, but the return on spend was better. And it did not have this low intro APR. So again, I'm a little surprised they still have the low intro APR on here. I mean, with now it's going to be, I mean, we're into March, so you think March, April, I think tax season, people getting tax refunds, they're more likely to go out and spend money, make it easier for them to hit this sign-up bonus here. Um, they were pushing these low intro APRs on all of their cards, well, just about all of them, uh, after the new year because lots of people, right, they, you know, spend a bunch of money when they're going shopping for Christmas and, you know, they can't pay, it, they necessarily can't pay that off right away, so they want to put it, you know, do a balance transfer and either pay low interest or no interest on a credit card. 
So this did not change one bit from the previous offer. They had January and February start of 2022. So, I mean, you see this expires July 5th. So we're going about the first six months of the year. They're not changing this, this offer one bit. Now in the fall, they may change this because like I said, I got mine in August is when I applied for mine. And that was when they had a pretty good offer for it. So that was when the signup bonus is even better. So maybe then um, after July 5th, you know, when you get like later in the summertime, uh, kids start going back to school, August, September, that kind of thing, you may get a better offer, but they may not change this one bit. You know, the APR, you see, that I means it's 1.99% intro APR for the first six months on purchases. After that, the variable 9.99 right? You're three times the points on travel. Um, you know, it says, and then travel isn't just like hotels and flights. It is, those do count, but also um, if you do like Uber and Lyft and that kind of thing, uh, I believe it also applies to ferries, I think campgrounds, I think even certain museums and that kind of stuff. So it applies to more than just like, you know, hotels and flights. So, and they also did not offer the, um, I think it's Amazon Prime membership. We'll go and we'll look at this in just a moment. But basically this stayed the exact same. Because if you look at some of the previous offers they had, so this is one they had uh, that went all the way into the new year. So this one right here, uh, the flagship rewards, it was 40,000 bonus points. Hopefully you guys can see that. It makes it a little bigger, let's do this. Okay, yeah, so 40,000 bonus points. Uh, $400 value when you spent four grand in 90 days. This is what it was to close out 2021. And this expired January 3rd. And the same three points, all that stuff. The uh, $100 statement credit, right, for Global Entry, TSA PreCheck. And then that was it for the rewards you got on this card. Now, they didn't do this whole, you know, low intro APR on this. They didn't do that until um, the, after the new year when they started that offer. But if you go back even before this, we can see... It's from one of my Vegas vlogs. <laughs> uh, let's see here. This one. So this one expired November 1st. So this was around, uh, had to be around when I signed up because I got mine in August. Yeah, so probably August. Yes, yeah, so this is when I, uh, around when I signed up, maybe just after when I did because this is 40,000 bonus points for spending four grand. So $400 value in 90 days. The triple of points, $100 statement credit, but they also gave you uh, the Amazon Prime membership with this, which is something that I can't zoom in, which is something that they haven't done now since pfft, November. So once November hit, they took away the Amazon Prime membership on you, and they have not brought that back. So, so you can use a flagship card uh, to purchase an Amazon Prime membership. We'll reimburse you for the cost, $130 value. If you renew it, they'll credit your account. So they were that was another benefit they had. So you got a bigger sign-up bonus. They didn't offer this uh, low intro APR and you got you still $100 credit for TSA or global entry and you got your Amazon Prime membership. But they took that away at the end of last year. So at the end of last year, they took that one away and they gave, let's see. So at the end of last year, they took it away. Same sign up bonus, but they took away the Amazon Prime part. Now to start the year off, they have the exact same, but they lowered the sign up bonus to start the year off still did not add on the Amazon Prime membership, and they just brought this low intro APR. So for the first six months, I mean, <laughs> so this is what they started the year off with. So this may not be appealing to a lot of people. So I mean, I wonder what you guys have to say about this down below. But I mean, if you're like on the fence of applying for this card, and you know, you cut, you're waiting for the promo to see what they offer, and all of a sudden you see now it's just the exact same, they changed literally nothing about it, probably not gonna encourage too many people to go ahead and sign up for this card. It's probably not that exciting. So I would not be surprised if more people waited until July hoping to see you know, a 40,000 point bonus. Uh, maybe the Amazon Prime membership comes back and that kind of thing. Because if this offer did not excite you to start the year off, I don't think it's gonna excite most people now. Um, that's just what I'm thinking. So you guys tell me what you think about this down below. This is the most recent offer for the flagship rewards card. We do have other cards we'll be covering, right? Of course, the more rewards, cash rewards, go rewards, all that kind of stuff. But I was like, yeah, let's start this off with the uh, big kahuna, the granddaddy card. So tell me what you guys think about this down below. I wanna hear what you have to say. That's gonna be for this video. I appreciate you guys watching. And until next time, keep growing your money.